Oh, hello there guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Matt and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a kitchen worktop out of concrete and also an outdoor garden worktop. So keep watching and you'll see how both of these have been made. So first of all, we're just cutting all of the melamine board, which is going to make up the base and the side pieces of the concrete worktop moulds. So we're just cutting the rectangular sections now and then we're going to be cutting the side pieces and sticking them on. And for the kitchen work, so we're making a side piece at the front, which is very slightly longer than the other side pieces so that we can make it look a bit thicker at the front. We're going to have a lip that drops down below the worktop. You'll see this a little bit later on. Once all of those side pieces have been cut, then you can use a hot glue gun to hold them in position before drilling pilot holes and screwing them in. Once all of the side pieces have been stuck on, you can then use some masking tape to mark out a five millimeter border to stop the silicon from going too far away from the edges. And it gives you a nice clean line. You can see here the silicon is spreading out nicely with my finger. And you can just pull that masking tape right away and it gives it a really nice clean finish. I'm then just marking out and cutting some 6mm steel mesh here, it's called A142 mesh and you can find this particular product and any other product used in this video in the links in the description as usual. I'm now mixing together 2% pigment for the outdoor worktop and 4% pigment for the kitchen worktop and you can see the calculation for how to do this in the description below. Then add some plasticizer according to the instructions on the back of the bottle and a thin layer of cooking oil to use as mould release. Then mix all of the ingredients into a cement mixer dry and then add water until you get a fairly sloppy mix and that will help to reduce the amount of air bubbles on the surface once it's done. You'll see the consistency of it in a second. Then fill all of the moulds that you want to be this colour halfway and then spread the concrete out into all of the corners. Massage the concrete into the surface well by hand and then add the steel reinforcement. You can then fill the moulds all the way to the top and scrape the surfaces smooth with a straight edge. It's then really, really important to vibrate the concrete as much as possible to get rid of the air bubbles. This will make sure the concrete is super strong and super smooth. And if you want to make a vibrating table like I've got in this video for under £50, then make sure to subscribe and I'll show you how to do it in my next video. This is now the second mix with 4% pigment for the kitchen worktop. And we've also got a piece of shuttering to make a lip at the front edge. So you'll see me filling this in a second. Then all you need to do is grind back all the surfaces level with the side pieces and that will give you the exact thickness that you need for the worktops. I'm doing it with a machine polisher here and a 50 grit sanding pad but you can also do this by hand. Then it's time to demold and if you start with the piece of shuttering then you can grind any areas that are not flat before you turn the worktops over. And you can see here the lip that we've created. And you can see here the worktops have come out really nice and smooth so make sure to subscribe and I'll show you how to make that vibrating table.
Once we've demolded the worktops and flipped them over, because they're so smooth, all we really need to do now is to polish them with some 1200 grit wet and dry paper and use lots of water to lubricate the surface. Once you've finished polishing, allow the worktops to fully dry and then apply a good quality matte finish sealer. You can find a link in the description for the one that I'm using in this video. I'm really pleased with how both these worktops turned out and if you found this video helpful at all then please do consider liking and subscribing to this channel because it will help more people see this video and I've got plenty more concrete content coming for you in the future. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Oh god. Oh, one more. Oh well hello there guys.